Hey guys, it's Elisa, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my new Native American float. So, I just got it in the mail, just took it out of the box so you wouldn't have to watch me, you know, fumbling with all the, the boring part. Um, oops. Okay, so, this is from the company High Spirits. They are based out of uh, Southern Arizona. And this one is called the Red Tail Hawk, and it's made out of aromatic cedar. And this is the key of G minor. So, let's see. Mm, look how beautiful. Look at that red tail hawk and the engraving. That's gorgeous, right? Look at the coloring. Um, so this company has been in business since 1990. Um, it's a little pricey, but as you can see from the craftsmanship that it's totally worth it. Um, some companies make really cheap flutes where there's like two pieces of wood glued together and they use like toxic um, coating like polyurethane and this company uses all natural oils and it's just one piece of wood. Um, cedar is a soft wood. Um, which gives it a little bit more of a warm tone and um, the spiritual significance of cedar wood is um, healing and cleansing strength and hope and it's used in rituals of like purification and rituals of protection so I really love that and I just love the redness to it so um, again this is key of G um, it does say on the website that this is um, not intended for, but more easily played by somebody who has um, medium to large size hands. And I have very small hands. I don't know if you can tell from the video. So I don't know, maybe I'll do some hand <laughs> stretching exercises or something. No, I don't think it'll be that serious. But um, did you know, um, little tiny piece of history, did you know, and I'm not for the, I'm not saying that I'm for this practice, I'm just giving a little bit of history. Um, in Mexico, I don't, I don't know if they do it anymore, but back in the day at least, and maybe other parts of the world, um, parents who wanted their children to be like um, advanced musicians would, um, like for example, um, parents who had um, children that played the violin, they would put corks in between their children's fingers and then wrap them and let them sleep like that at night so that their fingers would, you know, so that they, they could play much better, so. I don't know what you think about that, but anyways, um, I don't think it's going to be all that serious. I think it's just going to um, take some getting used to, for sure. There's already another flute that they make that I want in the key of E, um, which is a very kind of deep tone, and um, it's a shorter flute, but it's wide, and that one also says that it's better for people that have large hands, so, you know. I've seen girls with tiny hands play, you know, big flutes, so it can be done. It just, it's going to take some practice and some um, strengthening of, strengthening, why can I not talk today? Strengthening of certain muscles, you know, in your hands and your fingers, so. Anyways, yeah, um, I'm not sponsored, just wanted to show you guys my beautiful new baby. Um, the Native American culture and the flute in particular um, have a very deep spiritual meaning to me that maybe I'll talk about it, um, at a later time. Um, but did you guys also know that the flute is one of the oldest instruments um, to date, along with the drum and the rattle? There, There is flutes that were found in parts of Europe that are said to be um, 30,000 years old. That's really awesome. So let's see, and I'll show you what I mean about the fingering. So as you can see, I kind of got to stretch my fingers um, pretty far apart, but that's okay. I can get used to it. guys that's probably gonna do it for me I just wanted to show you my new beautiful flute I'm so excited um, 
definitely some flute playing videos to come here in the future so stay tuned i have um lots of lots of more content coming so if you um would like please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can be alerted when i make new videos and um that's all i'll see you guys next time have a good day bye